everybody this is Sherry from djsundry.blogspot.com and tonight I'm going to show you a mini album that I recently made now um, quite a bit went into this album and it will take too much to try to do a tutorial on it so instead I'm just going to show you um, some of the products I used um, we'll mention some te techniques and then I'll take you through the album so the first thing that I want to show you is that I use this 12 by 12 stack from die cuts with a view this is called the tattered time stack it is um, it's got 48 sheets of paper it's single-sided and um, it's very vintage um, kind of masculine there's old typewriters in here old old ticket stubs um, and then there's some florals and stuff old radio parts and even the florals I felt were masculine enough to use for a man and then lots of gears and sprockets and just all sorts of things some of them are glossy so this was the main um, paper that I used now there are other papers in my um, album and but most of them were scraps whether they were scraps from Tim Holtz or from K and Company or from all different places but the main paper I used was this tattered time from die cuts with a view now I also used um, for the cover I used this paper from recollections this is actually clear um, plastic paper it came in a sheet um, looks like it had 25 sheets this is one of the sheets and um, it has this pla or this paper wrapping on it so that it's just protected so it doesn't get all scratched up and I actually got this a few months ago at Michael's on clearance and I'm really glad I did there's I'm hoping to do some fun things with this um, and if you can find it on clearance it's much less expensive um, I also use the plant and school book and I will explain what I did um, with that in a few minutes but I used um, the rectangle on page 74 and I used my uh, my design studio and with that I used the different letters of the alphabet and in the design studio I welded them onto the rectangle Put, made different sizes of rectangle and that will all become clear that was definitely the most consuming part of the process was getting everything welded and flipped and just everything I had to do with it and I'll show you how I did that but I used my Cricut Expression and the um, Plant and School book there's also some other things I used I found this um, noteworthy die cut journal page pack from Bo Bunny um, I got it at a craft store and it was on clearance as well. I only paid a couple dollars for it. Um, and actually, I'm looking at that and I think I could even use that transparency page for something. But I used a couple of the pages in here. One of the pages that I used was um, similar or maybe even was this one. And then I also used this one like this. There are two of everything in here and I used those two in there. Um, sticker wise I just started going through my stickers to see what I needed um, I had this old autumn and I used a tag from it this is from hot off the press I used um, this tag here which I'll show you on the page and actually because it was springy and didn't match I actually used distress ink to distress it this was the main pack of stickers that I used and um, I used quite a few from here this is family quotes fabric stickers from hot off the press I don't know if these are even still available because they are quite old another thing from Bo Bunny and it was from the same line I believe as the um, as the journal spots that I just showed you but these were cardstock stickers and um, they talked about family and then there were some um, I used these down here to make a little phrase as well on one of the pages um, again on clearance I found these from fancy pants it's called like father like son and it's just alphabet stickers and each alphabet has a word with it a is for adventurous j is for joyful um, and so I used three of those within it, and you'll see those as well then going back through all my really old stuff I had these old um, stickers from EK success that had an antelope and I don't know a mountain lion or a um, mountain uh, go or something on there. I can't remember exactly, but we'll see when we come to. 
And then I had these nice puffy stickers from Can Company that I used on one or two of the pages. And they just have different phrases on them. And they're um, kind of puffy, almost like something you could do with glossy accents. From Michaels, I had these, just from their dollar bin, I had these little stickers that were um, squares that come to a point, almost like a pyramid, and I used those. I From the K and Company, I used some of the white pearls and then some of the kind of green peridot um, colored um, bling there, some gemstones. And then these are actually from Kaiser Craft. They were something that Simon Says Stamp had sent me um, when I placed an order one time, it was a gift with the order, and they're kind of this, um, well, I don't know, kind of salmon, rusty, colored pearl, and they were perfect for the colors that I was using. I used a few other things. I had picked up these Prima flowers um, from Hobby Lobby. On, um, I used a coupon on them, and I used some of these. I have these Recollection flowers that are very similar to those, only smaller. And I, um, some of them I tore the middles out and some of them I didn't. And I kind of distressed some of them. Some of them I didn't and did different things with that. And you'll see that throughout. And then I use these um, two inch binder rings. Now I was planning on using my um, bind it all. But by the time I was said and done, it was too thick for any of the O-rings that I had. So I had to scratch that idea and just use my crocodile to use that. And then I used a few inks. Now there's one page, I don't know what color ink I used just because I did that page quite some time ago. Um, but I used my Excelsior black ink pad and I was so, well, I'll show you that in a second. I used um, walnut stain distress to do quite a bit of the colors um, or you know to distress some of the edges of some of the pages and I use Victorian velvet on some of them and then I was so excited because these are the seasonal distress inks the Christmas ones and I use the ice spruce and the festive berries so I'm just about done showing you what I used um, I use these liquid pearls from Ranger, these um, dimensional pearls, and there is one page that I do need to quickly finish up later, but I wanted to let it dry overnight, and th so that's what I use the dimensional pearls for. And then I use my homemade um, Perfect Pearl Mist on one of the pages as well. So um, that is pretty much the supplies I used, and I used a lot of tools. I used glue dots, and I used my ATG, and I used Zip Dry, and Quick Dry, and probably even glue pins. I used all sorts of stuff. I used these Tim Holtz um, stamps. I used this phrase here, and I used the old jalopy car and truck. This is from the Journey um, stamp collection and I use those on some of the pages and then the last set of stamps that I used was from K Andrew Designs and they were the Amazing You set and I use that kind of as my title page and, and I'll show that to you in a minute and um, so be sure and check out I will put a link to where you can purchase this particular set of stamps and um, so that if you're interested in them, these are great stamps. K um, Crystal donates a portion of the proceeds to charities. And I will put a link on so you can look at these stamps and then also look at the other stamps in our store. And I use quite a bit. These phrases are mix and match. And I use quite a few of those, including this little heart down here. So let's get started with the fun part. So this is the mini that I made. Now in the picture it probably is quite a mess let me zoom out just a little bit and it looks like I'm zoomed out just about as far as I can be but um, this album is actually for my dad his birthday was in August and I'm running really late and I had designed this album um, I'm the oldest of 11 children and I wanted to do this album for his 60th birthday. So um, now I'm probably in big trouble because I just said how old he is. But this is the album that I designed. So as I mentioned before, when you look at my page here, um, I used the design studio and I welded the, the rectangle onto the stickers. Then I had to flip it. Now when I flipped it, um, let me show you a different page that doesn't go off camera. When I flipped it, um, 
I couldn't flip the whole phrase, so I had to do those um, individually. So that's what I did with those. Now when we look at this, the very first page is the title page. And this is where I use the K. Andrew design stamps. I use some of the paper. This is, it starts out with the clear acrylic sheet here that you can probably just barely see. And then this paper is from the Timeless stack. And then I just took a scrap piece of paper from my stash and I, um, in the black ink, I went through and I stamped each one of these phrases on different areas in the, in the paper. And then I just free texted it. Now, unfortunately, the UR ended up right where my hole is, so it's kind of cut off. And then this is that journal spot, one of the journal spots that I showed you that I used. But I used... Um, I just cut straight lines and then I freehanded and turned them into banners. And it says, you are a blessing, courageous, generous, a hero. And then this is where the berry ink, this is the only dark colored ink that I used in here. And it says loved. The others were all more vintage or match the album. This one very much stands out because I wanted to know he let him know that he was loved. And then on the back I wrote, I used another one of those journaling spots. And that's where I put my journaling, um, just my note to my dad. So let's just walk through the album very quickly. This is me. I'm going to just move this down and move some of this over. And, um, and nothing really all that special. Again, the welding was quite time consuming, but I really am happy with the way it turned out. And then I just punched this flower. I don't even remember. I think it was from Accent Essentials. And I inked the edges and curled it and put that green bling on it. Then on the back side, I did the same process, only I put little pearls on it and I inked it with a different color. It looks like um, Rusty Con or Dusty Concord. And then um, each one of the letters on the back here had to be glued individually to fit. Now, obviously these letters aren't going to be the same because names are longer. But if you look, each page gets progressively bigger. So I really couldn't go that large with my page because the album was already going to be quite long by the time we got 11 children in there. So then the next page, this was my brother, and um, this page, uh, once I had the album designed, and, and what I used is I just used um, cardstock and cut it, and sometimes I had to use my 24-inch mat for the longer pieces, and then I taped them together, and I tried to make sure that the seams were in different spots, and that was the core. So there were two sheets of cardstock taped back to back, and then each side of the page has um, a sheet of either printed paper, or if it's that die cuts with a view stack, it's actually heavier paper. And so then this is a the T, his name is Tommy, and the T from that um, alphabet set that I showed you. And it actually said tough, which is kind of very fitting for my brother. And then on the back here, we have his family. I'm going to try to kind of put my thumb. I want to kind of cover up the kids here. And then another, some of the stickers from that family pack there that says yesterday's memories. And then this one... Um, the next sibling down. This is that stamp that I use, or that fabric sticker that I showed you from that spring pack. And it was just far too bright for the muted colors of the album. So I just took my Walnut Stain Distress ink and went over the whole thing. And that was really the only new technique that I did in that. Um, again, I used, let me flip this over. Just going to cover up the kids again. And um, I used my Distress Ink on those Recollection Flowers. And I popped out the center and I glue dotted it down. And then I Distress Ink with the Walnut Stain over that cream colored flower. And used those little rusty pearls in the center. And then I also used just a little bit of the Velvet Distress Ink to kind of give it just a little bit of pink that kind of matched the other colors. This one is a fun page. Um, and this is where I use some of those little stickers and it says where would life be without cake and this is for the sibling that had the cake and then the only other real technique I did on this is I just kind of stitched around the border of the um, the mat there as you see um, 
this on this page again covering up the kids on this page um, I use this is from K and Company and I didn't show you this before but this um, it was a pretty bright sticker as well and it's a dimensional sticker and there's some acetate in there and I used um, the distress ink again to um, kind of mute it I just went over the top to kind of mute it and then this sticker also from that family pack from Bow Bunny says one defining moment and the picture the family picture that I put in here of my sister is of her recent wedding she just got married just a month or two ago um, now I wanted to point out you are probably noticing a trend what I tried to do with these as much as I could is the front of the page was just the original 11 children now there's some background people in this one but like this one's my brother and then on the back side I tried to, to include a family um, photo again these pages went together very quickly once I got the papers um, down again another piece of the paper from the stack this was an old radio and um, this is my brother Phil and so the P um, was playful, which I thought was kind of funny because he was shooting his bow. And then I put some animals back there. And then I had an old picture of him. Um, and then I just used, this is the picture of him and I matted it. And then I just used a tag. This is where I used that fall tag. And then this nurture um, was from the family fabric stickers and then I took just a blue button and I ran a piece of cappuccino twine from the twinery on it and glue dotted it down and the page was done so and this page I have to say is probably one of my favorites in the book just because I love the colors of this paper um, again this is from the same stack it's kind of this um, blue gray color and this is the big prima flower and and it's a perfect match for the new distress ink the ice spruce and so I ice I, I distressed it and then I this is the one and I don't think the camera's probably picking it up but it's very it's um, got a subtle sparkle to it and that's because um, I use my perfect pearl spray and then this is where those square centers from Michaels came in and I just um, put them on two of the flowers and I didn't quite have room for a third flower and I didn't really want to use a smaller one so I just put one of those squares right in the middle and then for the mat um, I used a complimentary piece from the stack um, for the first mat and then I wanted a second mat because it just was so close to the same color between the mat and the base paper that you could see it but I didn't have the right color brown and so what I did is I just took a white piece of paper and I distress inked around the edge and it's a perfect match and again here you can see the name and you can see how we're moving up the list of the families and let me just go off here um, this is just their family photo and again I use E um, even though it was a guy um, pack E for endearing um, which fits my sister perfectly and then this also from that Bow Bunny cardboard sticker pack family times are the best of times this paper is actually from the glimmer stack and I can't remember if that's from recollection or the shimmer stack and I believe that's from the paper company um, next sister this is where those Kane Company um, stickers came in those puffy stickers and then I used more of those little tiny um, pearls from Simon Says Stamp that I used on those flowers on an earlier page and then I had just a piece of lace that I glued across the top using a quick dry and that was the front um, this was just kind of a buff colored piece of flesh tone color piece of um, cardstock that I had I use it for paper dolls a lot but I actually then used the velvet um, I can never remember that name the Victorian velvet distress ink to ink around to kind of tie the colors together and this says simple pleasures memories and countless blessings and um, this one I actually had a couple pictures and I couldn't decide which one to use so I put them both on here but as the pages grow I had more room but then again from that Bow Bunny um, cardboard sticker pack that says family memories and this page is empty um, I don't have a single picture 
of this sibling but again this is from the same stack I use this is where I use the dimensional pearls oh and I did use my um, EK success punch I can't remember what it's called um, dotted wave and I just punched out an edge and then trimmed it at about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch and then I just glued it on there now I did have a family picture so on the back I did their family picture and again it's just the exact same paper and I did the exact same technique and I, I'll probably go back and put more of those liquid pearls here and just kind of give that a little bit more dimension and bling. This sister is kind of crazy and this paper was actually it's dominoes you can't really tell but she was riding a stick horse and I just could not let any of the pictures go so thankfully we're getting towards the end and so she had a longer page so I went ahead and put it down on there and I used each all three of them and then on the other side I used again I put her family photo on there um, and just a second here and let me get the page turned and again covering up the kids and this you can see the dominoes a little bit better and then these this page I just used the the little recollection flowers from Michael's straight out I didn't distress them it was a perfect match for this particular page just to leave them that creamy white color and just glued on them straight down and um, so that's what I did actually I don't think I even used a glue dot on this I think I just um, used my quick dry so then we get to this page and I'm definitely running out of photos I didn't have many photos of some of these other kids so um, this one um, is my brother John and his family I didn't have a single picture of him and even the picture I have isn't very good because I kind of um, stole it from Facebook but um, it was best I could come up with and this is where I used the Tim Holtz truck and then I ripped a piece of the same this is the um, buff colored paper that I showed you later on, earlier but this time I didn't do any inking on it or anything and then I ripped out a piece and then just in black I stamped this or uh, stamped this Tim Holtz phrase from the same pack as the old jalopy and it says time is a companion that goes with us on the journey it reminds us to cherish each moment because it will never come again what we leave behind is not as important as how we have lived so I just put that on there um, and then on the back I put two just blank photo mats um, and match the paper and then again another one of those big bow bunny stickers that says family is a work of heart and then a smaller sticker here with a timepiece on it and there's gears and sprockets and stuff on the page but then as they get more photos as my dad gets more photos he can just add them and I cut them so that a four by six size piece of paper or picture would fit on it so they don't have to cut them or do anything they can just put the picture on it and then this one is my last sibling my brother Josh love this paper it's gears and sprockets it's raised and this is the only picture that I used of him and he doesn't have a family he's pretty pleased with himself um, and then again I just used an extra mat so that they can put another picture if they so desire which brings us all the way back to the back and I didn't do anything real fancy with the back um, there was a fabric sticker from that um, hot off the press fabric family pack it says the happiest moments of my life have been the few which I have passed at home in the bosom of my family and that's actually a quote by Thomas Jefferson and so I just stapled that down and then that is the photo album so by the time you see this album um, I won't post it until my dad actually I know he has the album I've kept it from him this long hopefully I can keep it from him longer so thanks for watching um, it was a fun project probably not one that I will repeat anytime soon um, it was a lot of work but it was so worth it and I hope my dad likes it so thanks for watching and have a great day and remember I will be posting a link if you're interested in that K Andrew um, amazing new designs um, stamps so thanks for watching have have a great day. Bye.